So when I was around 16 years old, I discovered how you could be friends with absolutely anyone. And now, I know that sounds great, but there's a real darker twist to this story. Because the way that I found to become friends with absolutely everyone was to become the kind of person that that person wanted to be friends with. So this person, let's call him Jeremy, wanted to be friends with a charismatic uh, but grounded person. So I would become that person. And this person, uh, Esme, wanted a, a really humble, down-to-earth, kind of boring person. So that's who I would become. And what happened was I would change who I was for every single person that I got myself in a huge dilemma because I had two groups of friends, my friends that were in school and my friends that were outside of school. And because I was such a different person in each of these groups, because I would do everything they could, anything within my power to get them to like me, I was petrified that these two groups would meet. Because when they would meet, I wouldn't know how to act. And eventually, this kind of a lifestyle, it started to encroach on my serenity of mind. I started to get anxious, I started to get nervous, and I discovered that the reason why so many people have an anxious, chaotic mind where thoughts are always running on in their minds and they're, they're worried and slightly overthink lots of different things and don't really know what to do is because of a word called alignment. And most people live their lives, imagine there's a room of a hundred people and everyone's screaming to each other, trying to communicate, but everybody's speaking a different language. That's a life outside of alignment. A life in alignment, all of those 100 people start speaking the same language and start singing the same song. So in this video, in the next few minutes, you're gonna learn the three ways for you to live in alignment so that you can truly get serenity of mind. So the first way to develop authenticity and have a truly serene mind is, oh, and by the way, we're gonna go over the three different things you need to have to have that alignment. Then at the end of the video, you're gonna learn three more hacks or, or tips to actually take this theory and implement it into your life so that you can, can be more aligned immediately. But that first step to being really aligned is what you say. And this is an absolutely massive one for getting a serene mind because what I was doing in that story was I was being inauthentic. I was being the opposite authentic. I was saying one thing and doing another thing. And that is the definition of dishonesty. When you say you're gonna do one thing and you're not gonna do that thing, that is dishonesty. And that causes so much misalignment that real problems can start to happen. But an important thing to recognize is it's not just what you say to other people. What's more important is what you say to yourself. And we have so many thoughts going through our mind on a day-to-day -day basis, and that can make or break having a calm mind or having an anxious mind. Because if you've said to yourself for the past six months that tomorrow you're gonna wake up, you're gonna be productive, you're gonna eat healthily, you're gonna do deep work, and you're gonna exercise, then tomorrow rolls around and none of those things happen. You sleep in, you go on your phone, you watch way too much YouTube, and you're not productive. What that's doing is you're lying to yourself. Your brain is losing trust in itself. Your brain is losing respect for itself. And the thing is when you lie to someone, if you lie to them once, then all of those other truths that you've ever told them are now put up into question. They're now debating whether everything you've told them is true. And that same thing applies to yourself. And the more you lie to yourself, the more your brain starts to question, is everything else even true? Who even am I? If I can't trust myself th with this, then what can I trust myself with? So we've got to act and live our lives in rigorous alignment with what we say. And now it's actually really difficult to come up with things that are more important for alignment and really having a serenity of mind than what you say. But one of them that definitely is more important is how you spend your time because how you spend your time determines the results that you get in your life. And there are two options. You either have a purpose and you live your life in accordance with that purpose, or you have a purpose and you don't. And in that second example, that's where the things you do, the way you spend your time is nowhere near aligned with your purpose. And the problem with that is it's like somebody that's promising themselves you're gonna do all of these incredible things. But when it comes down to the execution, the absolute opposite happens and that causes so much disconnect when you say that this is what I want to achieve but your actions and the way you spend your time are completely unaligned with that I think you can see why that causes so much friction and it's that friction between what your purpose is and how you spend your time that is the cause of so much anxiety and the cause of so much overthinking so what we've got to do here 
is figure out what we want to do, reverse engineer that and really determine what are the activities that need to be done in order to reach that purpose and then execute on those activities on a day-to-day -day basis. So the psychologist Carl Rogers actually recognized in a, in a weird way, humans exist in two different places at once. There's where you are now and who you are, but then there's also who you think you are. And there's that self image is sometimes very, very different to the person that you actually are. And he called this incongruence, where who you are now is different to who you think you are. The characteristics, capabilities, and skills that you actually have are different to the skills that you think you have. And this can be done in two different ways. You can think that you're better than you actually are, this is arrogance. Or you can think that you're worse than you actually are, and this is diffidence. But both of these cases, where you think that you're different to how you actually are can cause unalignment because you're not viewing the world the way it actually works. You're not viewing yourself the way it actually works. And confidence is bringing these two circles that they overlap. Who you think you are and who you are is the same thing. You have an accurate reflection of who you are and that's when you get deep congruence within yourself and you can live your life with that confidence and move forwards from there. So now let's talk about three ways you can take these kind of abstract concepts and actually apply them into your life today so that you can get the benefits from them immediately and start having a calmer mind. So hack number one out of three, and the thing is with thoughts, is that positive thoughts release from your brain far more easily than negative ones. So easily to have a negative thought and ruminate on that and think about it relentlessly every single minute for a long period of time. But what you've got to recognize is these thoughts are malleable and most thoughts that enter your brain, there's the opportunity for you to tamper with them. And this is something insanely powerful when you recognize that you can take a thought and you can change it and you can feel differently because of that. It's truly a superpower. So whenever you have these negative thoughts, apply your creativity and think of ways to reframe these negative thoughts into a positive one. Example I always give, imagine the bus is late. Immediately your thought is, this is annoying, I'm gonna be late. So the emotion you feel from that is an anger emotion. Compare that to the bus is late. Now there's an opportunity for me to be grateful the fact that we have a running road system. There's a man that's willing to dedicate his hours to drive this bus and I'm able to look at this beautiful scenery in front of me. That simple thought, when you flip it around in your mind, is gonna cause you to get rid of those negative emotions and start feeling more serene. In meditations, Marcus Aurelius pretty much said that men shouldn't retreat into the countryside or go away to relax if they wanna be more serene, but recognize that serenity can be found in the own mind. Because you can take a stressful person and put them in any environment, they're gonna feel stressed. And you can take a relaxed person and put them, them in any environment, and chances are they're gonna feel relaxed recognizing that you can actually go on holiday in your own mind. If you put down devices, you relax, you stay calm, and serenity can be found wherever you are inside of your own home. So the next time you're looking away to go on holiday, doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but just be wary of the fact if you're trying to escape the thoughts that are going on in your mind. And if you are, then just relax and breathe in the thoughts because then you can get rid of the thoughts without having to go away. And then you've got to recognize what the Buddhists say. They mentioned that desire was the cause of all suffering. So you've got to be so, so, so careful about the things that you desire. Because if you desire something that isn't going to bring you happiness in the journey or the destination, that's a surefire way to have crazy overthinking thoughts in your mind and not have serenity. If you desire something and when you're going about achieving that thing, you're not happy. And then like most things, when you achieve it, you're not happy. Again, this is going to cause so many problems in your life. So take the phrase, I want happiness, and remove the I want. You're left with happiness. And in the first link of the description, there's a playlist that gives you everything you need to know about the philosophy of Stoicism, which teaches you exactly how to implement these things to have a calm and precise mental clarity. So click that link, and if you've enjoyed this video, like the button and subscribe if you're new.